everybody today we are going to discuss one important chapter called non retro viral agents especially in this chapter we are going to cover drugs useful for treatment of herpes simplex virus cytomegaly virus and influenza virus to begin the most important drug useful for treatment of herpes simplex virus infection is acyclovir acyclovir now first we discuss the mechanism action of acyclovir here the first point acyclovir when i give it is imagine it is the virus the virus when i give acyclovir the acyclovir actively penetrating into the virus once it goes inside the virus what happened the virus, the drug with the help of one enzyme called viral thymidine kinase by the help of this thymidine kinase enzyme the acyclovir activated into acyclovir triphosphate this is what most important see question so question is a cyclovir activated by viral thymidine kinase enzyme the active form is a cyclovir triphosphate only by it activated it going to produce action once activated it going to inhibit the herpes simplex dna polymerase enzyme so ultimately a cyclovir inhibit viral dna polymerase by inhibiting this enzyme ultimately going to destroy the dna so a cyclovir ultimately inhibiting viral dna synthesis that's mechanism action now for the action the drug needs activation so what may be the reason for resistance of this drug this is again important see question the resistance of a cyclovir may be due to absence of thymidyl kinase enzyme or alteration or mutation of thymidyl kinase enzyme or sometimes maybe due to alteration of viral dna polymerase so two important reason for resistant one is due to altered thymidyl kinase enzyme or maybe due to altered viral dna polymerase but ultimately the most important mechanism responsible for resistance is due to alteration of thymidine kinase that's the most important okay now the next important mc question acyclovir can be used intravenously orally and topically but we have one thing called well acyclovir this again very 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 important mc question well acyclovir so pro drug of acyclovir it is we have very very high oral bio availability so one of the best advantage of well acyclovir is a very good oral bio availability ultimately acyclovir undergo excretion through kidney here again import mc question is it is undergo excretion through kidney in unchanged form that is without undergoing hepatic metabolism totally undergo excretion through kidney that mean the excretion of acyclovir totally depend upon kidney function so definitely this drug needs dosage adjustment in kidney failure this is very important once you know mechanism action and the reason for resistance and kinetic part next important question acyclovir useful for so many many condition like herpes simplex 1 and 2 and also useful for varicella zoster infection epstein barr virus infection then coming to adr the most important adverse effect gi toxicity the most important gi toxicity like nausea vomiting diarrhea but the dose limiting toxicity is nephrotoxicity causes renal insufficiency this is again very 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 important important because we know 
cycle will totally undergo excretion through kidney only. So, the most important adhesive fight is nephrotoxidic and it may also cause rarely some CNS problem. Whereas, we have one drug called well acyclovir, level, that drug may cause one serious problem called thrombotic thrombocytopeny purpura. So, one of the adverse effects of well acyclovir is thrombotic thrombocytopeny purpura. So, we know the most common drug useful for hip simplex is acyclovir. And we want to go for oral root main, best is well acyclovir. And what are the other drug useful for herpes simplex virus? We have one thing called famcyclovir. This is again important MC question. The question is famcyclovir is a pro drug. This is important question. The active form of famcyclovir is 6-deoxypencyclovir. This is old MCQ. You must know the question. Famcyclovir is a pro drug useful for herpes. The active form is 6 deoxy pencyclovir and this drug may cause side effect of headache, diarrhea, nausea and mostly may cause allergic skin rashes, hypersensitive skin rash problems also common with the famcyclovir. Other than famcyclovir, we have some drug called pseudophobia. Pseudophobia is a drug useful mainly for cytomegalovirus infection but it is also useful for herpes and also for respiratory papillomatosis, this old question, pseudophobia, antiviral drug, useful for respiratory papillomatosis, old important question. And also is to for uh, pox virus, adenovirus. And here, pseudophobia mean causes mainly problem of nephrotoxicity, neutropenia, sometimes they cause ocular hypotonia and carcinogenicity. So we have acyclovir. Wall acyclovir, famcyclovir, serofovir, and we also have some topical preparation useful for hippies simplex. For example, docosanol, important, important. Docosanol, a viral entry inhibitor given topically, and this is mainly used for oral and labial herpes, orolabial herpes infection. And we have some more drugs useful topically like iodoxorudine and trifluoridine. They are topically useful for keratoconjunctivitis caused by herpes simplex. And we have something called resicumod, very important, very important. It's a immunomodulator given topically for treatment of herpes simplex by infection. Okay, doctor. Our discussing herpes simplex virus, we now move on to discussion of drugs useful for cytomegalovirus infection. This virus causes mainly retinitis, especially in immunocompromised patient. So, for this infection, the drug of choice, very important, very important, the drug of choice is gancyclovir. It can be used orally or intravenously, that's a drug of choice. And we have one more thing called valgancyclovir. It is a oral pro-drug of gancyclovir. Valgancyclovir is a pro-drug of gancyclovir. And these drugs are going to inhibit viral DNA synthesis. And the most important adverse effect, this is again important MC question, myelosuppression. The most important adverse effect of GAN cyclomyelosuppression and rarely it may also cause some CNS problem that is GAN cyclovir. Other than this, what are all the drugs useful for cytomegalovirus infection? We have one drug called phoscarnate. It is very important drug because this drug useful for so many things. For example, it is useful for acyclovir resistant herpes simplex infection as well as useful for gancyclovir resistant cytomegalovirus infection. That is a wonderful drug. Here the very 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 important MC question. This drug causes nephrotoxicity. That is one important point. And the nephrotoxicity with some electrolyte, some metabolic problem. For example, it may cause hypocalcemia, hypokalemia and hypomagnesemia. 
this is again important question anti viral drug causing some metabolite problem or electrolyte problems are uh, fast coronary causing hypokalemia hypocalcemia and hypomagnesemia and it may also cause some external genitalia ulceration painful external genitalia ulceration for example it may cause penis ulcer in male bulbal ulcer in female this is one of the important problem of fast coronets then for cytomegalovirus infection we have some more drug like fomipercin fomipercin given intravitreal route for treatment of cmv induced retinitis when you go intravitreally it may cause vitreitis cataract sometimes it may increases intraocular pressure like that local problem can occur with fomipercin then we have pseudophobic this i had discussed already it is mainly useful for cytomegalovirus infection but it is also useful for respiratory papillomatosis it's old mc question and also useful for herpes simplex discuss in herpes chapter and it may cause side effect of nephrotoxicity neutropenia ocular hypotonia and carcinogenicity here what you should know extra point is we have one drug called brinsidovir brinsidovir it is the pro drug of sirofovir having less nephrotoxicity comparing to sirofovir less nephrotoxicity comparing to sirofovir that's advantage of brinsidovir and then we have discussed some newer drug useful for treatment of cyto megalovirus infection for example l e t e r liter movir is a newer drug this drug mainly useful for treating cmv infection in a patient who undergo bone marrow transplantation so liter movir a newer antiviral drug useful for cmv especially a patient who undergoing bone marrow transplantation and then we have mary bavir mary bavir a newer drug useful for cmv infection after finishing the drug useful for herpes simplex and cytomegalovirus infection now we want to influenza virus drugs useful for many one of influenza here before going to the drug name i just show one important point imagine it is the influenza virus imagine this virus enter into human cells once enter into human cells look here it has an outer layer that made up of m2 protein that m2 protein first undergo uncoating uncoating of process called uncoating once undergo uncoating the viral genome join into host genome and start viral replication and produce newer viral progenies this newer viral progenies are getting assembled mature and then getting released from their cells once released they are going to release into tracheal bronchial tree causing bronchitis pneumonitis influence of full like symptom all these thing okay now what are the important drug useful for treatment of influenza virus infection here there are some drug going to inhibit the uncoating of influenza virus for example amantadin and rimantadin these two drugs are very 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 important drug mechanism action is they inhibits uncoating of viral membrane the m2 protein the uncoating was blocked by amantadine and rimantadine and then there are some drug inhibiting the release of virus the release is done by one enzyme called neuraminidase so we have some drug called zenamivir rosatamivir and pera paramivir these drugs are inhibiting the release of virus the release done by one enzyme called neuraminidase so there are some drug inhibiting neuraminidase enzyme thereby inhibiting release of virus from the host cell so we have some drug inhibiting the uncoating some drug inhibiting release so you should know what are the neuraminidase enzyme inhibitor these are the very important mc question because the latest drug we have zenamivir vasaltamivir and p e r a paramivir now i this expect of drugs for example 
there are two different type of influenza virus one is called influenza a virus one more thing influenza b virus okay and the b virus that's the one causing bird flu fever all these things now the question is we have some drug called amantadine and remantadine these two drugs are useful only for the treatment of influenza a virus remember amantadine and remantadine useful only for the treatment of influenza a virus they don't have role in influenza b virus that's first mc question second question regarding the kinetic amantadine uh, without undergoing hepatic metabolism totally in unchanged form is created through kidney whereas remantadine maximally undergoes hepatic metabolism after heading metabolism only small amount of drug undergo renal route excretion in unchanged form maximally only the metabolites excreted so amantadine totally depend upon kidney function for the excretion and coming to see this drug useful only for a but i want drug useful for both influenza a virus and b virus the drugs are very important two drug one is called vasaltamivir one more drug zenamivir these are two important newer drug useful for treatment of influenza a virus and b virus okay the vasaltamivir look at the spelling o so pneumonia o means oral pneumonia Orally given, but nowadays we have some trial. We are also preparing intravenous preparation, but for MCQ, vasal term we mean mainly given through oral routes. But we also have intravenous preparation, but mainly oral routes. Zenamivir again given oral inhalation routes, inhalation, oral inhalation, but we also preparing intravenous zenamivir, but for MCQ. Vasaltamivir maximally available in oral form, but we also have IV form. Zenamivir mainly used oral inhalation route, and we also have IV routes. Okay, now the Vasaltamivir for influenza virus, for example H1N1, for a bird flu fever, for endemic, uh, epidemic, or pandemic, uh, flu H1N1. For that and all, Vasaltamivir given through oral routes. Here MC number one. We want to think of Vaseltamivir phosphate. The Vaseltamivir phosphate form is a prodrug. prodrug. This converted into Vaseltamivir carboxylate. This is active form. So remember, Vaseltamivir phosphate is the prodrug form, whereas Vaseltamivir pass carboxylate is the active form. And the dose, this is again important, important. Dose is very important. The dose of Vaseltamivir for a bird flu fever is 75 mg, 1 BAD for 5 days. Coming to ADR, given oral, you know, so common problem, oral root, so G toxic like nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, rarely it may cause neuropsychiatric problem. That is Vaseltamivir. Coming to next, Zenamivir. Zenamivir given oral inhalation route, 10 mg. Two inhalation twice daily for five days and since when orally it may cause bronchospasm that's why in a COPD patient in osmotic patient is not good choice for them vessel is a very good option because even inhalation route may cause bronchospasm problem anyway the two important drugs useful for both influenza a virus and b virus is vessel